Okay. Hello. So, this is a Smith Corona 1960 semi-electric portable typewriter. And the reason it's semi-electric is because the mechanism for the keys is electric, but the mechanism for the rest of the carriage is not. Um, so the carriage operation and carriage return is still manual. Adam, can you move aside so we can take a close-up of the camera? I mean, of the typewriter. All right, that's okay. So, let's switch it on. And you can hear a small humming noise. So let's put some paper into this thing. Um, he doesn't know how to put in the paper. Okay, that's how you put in the paper. Okay, so... Let's... So you can zoom in on the type head and you can see the action of the key typing. You zoom into this part over here. So you can see, you know... And you can sort of go back space a bit. Well, it's not really a back space, but it's literally uh, going back one space. And see, the shift mechanism is like the whole uh, the thing holding the keys goes down in order to strike the next line. And well, another thing to that's cool in this that that's not electric is it has an actual bell at the end of the sentence. So we have the margin set over here, the beginning and the end. So this is, first of all, this is the limits to how, uh, well, why don't we just type a sentence. What's the bell? So the bell sounds a few spaces before the end of the right margin. Oh, to tell you that it's getting towards the end of the page. Right. And this is a double ribbon typewriter, so as, what that means is I've been typing in black. I can... I can... Oh, type in red. Ooh, did you see that? Whoa, that's so cool. So you can zoom into this, and so I can emphasize word if I want to. Of course, I can also, well, if I need to, well, this is how they would edit in the old days. If you need to, well, a little more quite literally a strike out. Show that again. See that again. And so it looks something like this. So that's pretty much it. Oh strike out got it. Okay. Cut. Thank you, Agam. <laughs>